I have to be honest with you. This morning, I puked. <laughs> Out of fear of facing you guys. Then I started to cry. Again, that fear of how am I ever supposed to live up to this TEDx and all their awesome presentations. I became angry. Like, why? Why? And then I saw the fun of it all. It's kind of silly that I had to puke. <laughs> I got captured by myself again. <laughs> and then I became thankful. Like, thankful that you all are here and giving me the attention for the story I'm about to share with you. And then I was really looking forward to sharing this, these moments with you. And I once more remembered that that was the whole idea why I started giving is all we have two years ago. It's not even mine. It is from all of us. Giving is all we have is what happens when you fully surrender to your highest self. It is what happens when you fully surrender to your purest essence. Devoid from fear. Devoid from thoughts. Devoid from laziness. Devoid from irresponsibility. Devoid from curiosity, wonder or judgment about why I am sitting here in a chair or why I am wearing these flip-flops. And right in the center of all those fears, there is you, a liberated soul, ready to manifest from the heart. And I would love to share all the experiences I've had so far over the past two years. For example, ending up with our royal family talking about our future society. <coughs> or ending up in the heart of the financial industry, talking to our ex-minister of finance and current CEO of one of the largest national banks here in Holland, Gerrit Salm and giving him a proper hug. <laughs> because we all need a hug, and I could feel the fear. <laughs> There's a lot of weight on his shoulders. And especially men in the financial industry, they need love. And you women, you know that. Please give that to them. <laughs> Don't be shy. Or the 12 centers I'm working on right now with a couple of befriended souls across the globe to facilitate the transition towards our 21st century. But I only got a limited amount of time due to the framework of TEDx I'm captured in right now. So, instead, we're going to talk about another project I've been working on. Um, and it started at Lowlands 2012. It's called The Gift Shop. Who of you have seen the, the Gift Shop? Yeah, right, so it's right over there. Um, let me tell you the story about how that all started. Because I was like, people, we have to remember our origin. Our origin is unconditional in nature. We simply want to give our talents, our, our, our products, or whatever. And the gift shop was last year at Lowlands. And as you can see, it was a physical location. And it was quite nice to see that actually, when people entered that store, they were like, what is this store about? And we were there with 18 volunteers. And then we had a small window of opportunity. Not a difficult economic story, no. We're going from a mind-based society to one that builds forth upon the heart. And you can experience it right here. So people came to the desk, as you could have experienced right over there as well, and we would challenge them. What are you here to do on this planet? 
And many got confronted by such a question. Wow, I had never thought of that. What am I here to do? So often they would go, back, go to the festival terrain again and would come back. And I remember one guy, and I had to laugh really hard because he left for a couple of hours to think about his purpose. And he came back and he said, I know it. I want to give eight hours of my time to do nothing with somebody else. I was like, brilliant, we don't make time to do nothing anymore. It's the most valuable thing ever if we want to explore our purpose in life. So, the gift shop, uh, everybody came out enthusiastic, you might have experienced it here. Um, it became a snowball, and for two days long there was a line of people <laughs> waiting to give like a complete paradox to our current economy. And it's already there. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so, um, I remember that uh, at the end of Lowlands, this guy came up to me and he said, I heard about the gift shop, I wanna give, I wanna give too. And I said, well, sorry, you can't give anymore because we still have to hand out all the, all the gifts. I was like, but you know what? I'm going to give you a gift and you just pay attention to what happens. So I got my final cards. You might know these. Many of you have received one of those. And I was like, just pick one of those. Let the universe decide what you are getting. And he picks a card and he got exactly what he needed. And he was like, wow, wow, that's, that's brilliant. I, I want to give back. I was like, wait, how? There's somebody that's unconditionally giving his talent to the world. And the first thing you do is, I want to give back, I want to give back. So he became quiet on that insight. So we finished our conversation and... <laughs> 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 I will try to finish uh, things, uh, things up. Um, like 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Yes. Okay, guys, there's a gift shop. I, I would love to share all my stories with you, uh, which we can later on. There's a gift shop over there. 400 of you have been giving uh, a present, and that means that 800 of you are connected based on the heart. You can go to an online platform that is on this thingy and fill in the goat and then meet the one who is behind the gift. There's a story behind. Look it up, try it. You are here because you give. You are because you give. I Thank am you. here to give you a <laughs> signal that it's time. <laughs> Thank you very much. You don't